Hi and a warm welcome to yet another tutorial video. If you're new here, you are most welcome. My name is Chini Rejiji for short. And if you're a Chinese subscriber, I love you. Thanks for always coming back. In today's tutorial, I'm going to be showing us how to make this beautiful, very simple sheet dress. Basically, I have two methods that I used in making this dress, or you can use in making this dress. But either way, you are going to achieve the same results. So you go for the one that you feel is simpler for you. Best believe that whether you are a beginner, especially if you're a beginner, you will be able to achieve this dress at the end of this tutorial that's tell you how simplified i have made this particular tutorial please don't forget to subscribe if you haven't done so also give this video a like and drop your thought down below in the comment section so without further ado let's dive right into the tutorial here is the beautiful fabric we are going to be using for this particular tutorial and first of all you place your fabric on fold and to get the width of the folding for your fabric you divide the hip measurement by four okay divide it by four plus an extra two to three inches depending on how free you want the dress to be so to do that i just first of all iron and then cut off the edges and then at this upper part you know we have a lace at the upper part okay so we are going to be taking that into consideration as we proceed so to get that done we are going to be cutting it more like an off shoulder dress so the length for the lace that at the upper part i'm going to be using the length of eight inches for the lace so i start my measurement at eight inches inches mark sorry okay you can see i place my tape at the eight inches mark and then i'm going to be getting the total length of the um, dress that I want to make and then I subtract the half waist length from the total length so the total length here is 42 minus 36 inches half waist length okay so I have about 8 inches for the gathered so I'm marking my 36 inches half waist length at this point okay so this is what the length I'm going to be using looks like and with this we have the middle part of the dress ready okay so next I'm going to be marking out the vertical measurements which includes the armhole the under bust and then the um, hip length measurements okay so like I said earlier I'm going to be starting all my measurements from the 8 inches mark so the armhole length is 9.5 and I've marked that out and then the breast point is um, 11 plus half an inch I marked that out then the under bust length is um 15 plus half an inch which gives me 15 and a half and then the shoulder to the hip is um 29 plus half an inch which will give me 29.5 so I have the vertical measurements all marked out so this is the extension of all the vertical measurements so the next thing i'm going to be doing at this point is to mark out the shoulder measurement divided by two plus one inch so at this upper part i'm going to be marking the shoulder divided by two which is 16 divided by two is eight plus one which is nine so and at this breast point length i'm going to be dividing the bust measurement by four plus two inches same allowance so i mark the breast point divided by four plus an extra two inches which is 12.5 and then at the under bust remember that this dress does not have a zipper allowance okay so um we are going to be making it easy for the wearer to wear without having to struggle without a zip okay so whatever i have at the bust measurement i just take out half an inch and then i mark that at the under bust okay so the bust gave me a total of 12.5 so at the under bust i'm going to be subtracting half to give me um 12 inches you can subtract one if you can maneuver it and at the hip also i divide the hip by four plus two inches seam allowance so this is the hip measurement divided by four plus an extra two inches seam allowance and then at this um tail end of the dress i'm going to be giving it an a-line effect okay so whatever i have at the hip measurement i just come down to this tail end and add about one inch to it okay so that it can have that a-line effect just a little bit not obvious okay so i just connect back to the hip and then i connect all the way up to the armhole area okay so with this our body shaping for the front middle part is ready okay we are left with the upper part and then the lower part of the front and then that of the back as well so to get the upper part this is just to save a uh, fabric that's why i'm doing it this way so i'm going to i placed a pattern paper at the upper part i remember we um we i said i'm going to be using eight inches for the least upper part of the dress so i mark out that length on the carbon paper on the pattern paper i mean and then the shoulder i divided by two plus one inch just like i did before which gave me nine so i'm marking out the new armhole length you can see we have our eight inches so i divide it by two um so that i can have the armhole curve i come in by half an inch at this point and then at the upper part i come down by three quarter of an inch okay that's for the shoulder slant and then i use my um curve root to get my armhole curve 
okay so this is what the armhole curve looks like okay so the next thing is to get the uh, neckline measurement and for the neckline i'm going to be using a neck width of 3.5 inches that's for the width and then for the depth i'm going to be using 3.5 inches as well you can also use four it's not bad so but i'm using 3.5 which is this and then i connect the neck depth to the neck width so we have our neck line ready and then i'm going to be marking out the shoulder slants so after marking out the shoulder slants as you can see the front upper and middle part is ready we are left with the lower gathered parts for the front because the front is divided into three sections so i'm going to be cutting out this and then use it to cut the back okay so please note that you can do this in two methods and i'm going to be showing you the second method very very soon so i cut out both the upper and the middle part of the front which is this so i have this for the upper part and then i have the middle part of the front so ready okay and with this we can proceed to using this to cut the back okay so we just keep this by the side and then i get my fabric back i place the upper part of the front on it like so please take note of the edge do not let this cross over the self edge of the fabric and then i hold it down with the help of an office pin i get the middle part as well i place it please do not make it overlap let the edge just touch the edge and then at the shoulder i remember i curved in the front by half an inch so i'm bringing out that half an inch to the back okay so have the armhole for the back outward more than the front that's how it should be actually and then for the neckline i'm going to be using the depth of two inches for the neckline for the back but the width remains the same remember there is no zipper allowance on this dress okay so the next thing with this um armhole and neckline adjustment i'm good to cut every other thing being equal so after that um our front and back piece uh, pieces are ready like i said earlier you can cut this dress in two ways so i'm going to be showing us the second method shortly so we have the back and we also have the front so let's proceed to the second method right away so to cut the second method what we are going to be you that means you're going to be cutting the back first okay you first of all cut the back before you can cut the front in this case now that we have the back what i'm going to be doing is to mark out that eight inches length for the lace at the upper part okay so i mark that length out and then i have it folded backward like so after folding it i just iron it out to make to differentiate that and then i get my other fabric i place it on it like so and then i'm going to be marking exactly what i have at the back and after cutting out the middle part i also place this upper folded part on the lace and then cut out the lace as well adding one inch seam allowance okay so that's basically how to go about the second cutting so next i'm going to be cutting the gathered part of the dress that's the third part of the front side of the dress so to get that remember i subtracted my total length from the half length which gave me eight inches so i just add um, my seam allowance to that and then i mark out the length that i want so this is the length that I think it gave me a total of eight inches plus my sewing allowance so i cut that out for this one i'm going to be cutting as long as i want okay because it's going to be gathered so the next one i'm going to be cutting out the sleeve and also for the sleeve you can see that the sleeve is a um, puffy bogus sleeve so for the length of this sleeve i'm going to be using a total of about nine to ten inches i think nine inch nine inches should be fine so i mark out the length of the sleeve and then for the width yeah i'm just using as much as i can then i come to this um lower part of the sleeve i'm going to be taking out three inches from the from this side of the sleeve and then i curve like so and please not confuse the curved area to be the armhole area no okay this is because of the shape of the sleeve that's not the armhole area this straight part is the part we are going to be stitching to the armhole that's why i am notching it and then that's the part we are going to be you know stitching our gathered stitch on as well okay so um, for this particular one i'm going to be cutting about four pieces of them because i'm going to be using the same fabric for, as the interfacing so i cut four of them which is this one two three and four so we have that you know complete and next thing i'm going to be cutting is the upper Part of the front which is the lace part so i get my pattern and i place it on the lace and then i pin it down and the next thing i'm going to be adding an extra one inch to this lower part that's the stitching allowance of the front and that's basically the only addition to this part that's the seam allowance that i'm adding at this point so with that being added every other part remains the same so i cut that out so after cutting this is exactly what the lace should look like 
and then placing it together with the middle part of the front dress this is what you should look like okay so we are going to be stitching these two together but before that we will be cutting the interfacing so this is the interfacing i'm going to be using i'm going to be using a black interfacing so i cut out the interfacing for the back so after cutting the back interfacing the next thing i'm going to be doing remember i said that this doesn't have a zipper allowance so i'm going to be replacing the zipper allowance with a button opening so this is the extension or the opening for the button area so i just mark out i used for about four to five inches for that so for with that the back is ready so i get the front part the front upper and the middle part so i place the lace over the front like so so this is the right side of the lace i place it over the right side of the um ankara piece and then i get the interfacing i place it over like so so as you can see we have the lace at the middle so i'm going to be stitching like this using half an inch so after stitching this is what it looks like please note that i've already used uh, taped the neckline with a bias uh, fabric so to do the back i'll be to stitch the back i have this button loop that i'm going to be using for the button area of the back so i fold it over like so you can see this is the what it looks like and then i place it at the um, neckline area for the back and in placing it i'm just going to be coming down by half an inch i come down by half an inch and then i place the loop like so um, you can stitch it down or use um an office pin to hold it down so i hold it down with an office pin and then i place my interfacing on it and then i stitch round like so you can see this is the way the stitching goes so after that this is what we have i'm going to be giving it a good press so after ironing it out this is what it looks like and this is the point that the button is going to be so i get the front and then i place it over the back and then i stitch close the shoulder slant area so this is how you go about the stitching you place and then you use the interfacing to turn over and then have your shoulder slant area stitched down on both sides so after that this is what the front and back um, back pieces look together i give it a good press and this is what we have for the front and back so we are left with the sleeve area and then the gathered part of the lower part of the dress okay so to get that done i'm going to be using this piece that i already cut out i already have the interfacing by the side as you can see so i place the interfacing on it like so and then i stitch all the way down and then i iron it out as well and we're going to be seeing what that looks like shortly so you stitch round and this is what it should look like after stitching and ironing okay so this is what the lower part looks like so at the upper part i have a gathered stitch run all the way from the beginning of the other end to the other end so i have to pull and pull until i have my gather that i want please be careful when pulling this because if you try to be hard it's going to cut and you start afresh so be gentle and patient with the gathering so after doing that this is what i have so i have to uh, make sure that this width is equal to the width of the lower part of the dress itself so i get the dress and i place it like so to make sure that i have the width equal before i close the gathered part so i also pull because the gathered is a little bit wider than the dress so i pull together to give me the exact um width that i want so after doing that this is what it looks like and see so i'll be taking it to the stitching machine to have it stitched all around so after doing that this is what we have for the lower part of the dress so we have one more step to go and that is the sleeve so this is the sleeve part i already have that turned with the interfacing that's using the main fabric so at this point i'm going to be running a gathered stitch again for the sleeve it's all about gathered for this dress so after doing that this is it and then i pull as well just like i did to the lower part so i'm going to be pulling gently make sure you are patient so that your, uh, your thread does not cut so i gather until i have the width that i want so this is what both of them look like so i get the fabric and then i'm going to be stitching the sleeve to the body of the dress and after doing that this is what we have our beautiful shift simple dress is ready thank you guys for watching and see you in my next one bye